What's up, YouTube? This is Andy with Andy's Dizzy Vlogs. <clears throat> Just getting off work. Um, I don't have, like, anything monumental to talk about. I guess it just was um, wanting to share my feelings on like my current mental state and symptoms. I kind of uh, having a really rough time with motivation. Um, I don't know. After working a 10 hour day I get out of work and I just like, if I go straight home, I get home at six and my goal is to be laying down, sleeping by nine, nine thirty. But what ends up usually happening is I'll go to the gym between 6.15 and 7.15. I'll get home at like 7.30. By the time I get home and like make my shake and vacuum seal the other shake and drink it and then like situate my food for the next day and put away all my stuff from today and then like get upstairs to take a shower. It's like eight o'clock. And then by the time I'm done showering and getting my room situated with like my pills and all that stuff, it's like 8.30, 8.45, and then I go down to eat dinner. It's like close to nine o'clock. So if I like scarf down my food, I get to like, I like get to my room at like if I'm lucky at 9 o'clock, 9.30. And then I feel like I've been robbed of any, like, downtime. Because then it's just like, you go straight to bed. And I just can't, I can't live like that. I can't. And there's just no, like, your brain doesn't have time to to like de-stress like that's a long day to wake up at 5 30 and then like you're done doing what you need to do at like nine o'clock five five thirty a.m to 9 p.m it's just like go 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 i'm just like and also like the the uh, weather has been really dark in the morning. Like, it's been raining a lot lately. <clears throat> raining and cloudy, so, like, it's been really overcast. So, like, the first three or four hours of the day are, like, just dark. And I work outside, obviously. So, I think that, like, affects my mood and my, like, just my wantingness to do anything productive it's difficult to work <sighs> well yeah I'm like constantly <clears throat> caught in this trap of I need to work out I need to lose weight I need to be 30 at least 30 pounds lighter and just I can't I can't do it just from just from diet alone you know and uh, and I can't like get a I can't even like build up momentum in going to the gym, because, like, I'll be really good for a week, and then, like, oh, this week I've got a wedding, and then next week my symptoms flare up, and 
maybe I'll push myself and really do good for a week and then something else comes up and it just knocks me off path I think I've said this before but like to go to the gym requires like a mental state that is healthy uh, let me redact that statement having the motivation to go to the because when I feel good I want to go to the gym but when I'm constantly dealing with symptoms and that's the other thing is that I was really excited early on to start the, I was like nervous but I was excited to start this medication and then once I sort of got past a couple days and you know was not nervous to take the medication anymore then it became like you know excitement hope that this would be like the thing that makes me feel normal again and then the second week started getting anxiety after I would take my medication and then and that went away and I had a couple like really good days where I felt like I was on the cusp of you know, this working out, like, really well, and, like, I just thought that things were going to progressively, day after day, get better, and I don't think that that's happening anymore. I'm still taking the venlafaxine. I'm on 12.5 milligrams three times a day, um, but I still have a lot of the same symptoms. I still feel just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of over describing the symptoms just because I feel like I'm de beating a dead horse and I still don't have words to really describe them that accurately. And I'm really tired right now, so I'm just not even gonna try to I'm not even going to try to explain them. But I just feel off a lot of the day. Now, if I'm like... If I'm... So tired. If I... Am like in one spot working on something where I'm not moving, I'm not moving around a lot, and I'm just focused on this task, I will feel, you know, normal, I guess. But when I'm walking around, walking around I just feel off just again just like lightheaded and lightheaded and disoriented and uh, it doesn't like make me you know there's like a severity of it where The level I'm describing is such that I can ignore it, I guess. It's not even that I ignore it, it's just, and I'm not used to it, like you don't ever get used to it, but you kind of just like accept this fate that, you know, what else are you going to do? So you just push through the day and 
that's all you can do. But I'm just getting really fed up because I don't want to, like, it's just like such a struggle to get to the end of the day. Like, it really is a, it takes all of my mental energy to make it to the end of the day. And that's really frustrating because, well, for one, I already work a lot, so my time is time is limited. Which means when I get out of work, I can't just kind of like lollygag around and, yeah, I'll just like, you know, I'll, I'll just like casually go to the gym and, like, no, I have to like, like, I can't like, do a, like a set of bench and then like you know wait five minutes do another set wait wait several more minutes do, like no I have to like okay 30 seconds 45 seconds go I have to jump from one thing to the other which you know obviously is going to be a better workout but just apply that to every single task I perform after after I get home from work. Like I literally speed to the gym so I can get there and get it over with. And then I speed home and then I run into my house and I unpack my lunchbox as fast as possible. And then I drink my shake and I shower as fast as possible. And I'm literally just like doing everything I possibly can to squeeze an extra 10 minutes at the end of the day where I can just put everything down. And even like eating, eating, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't enjoy eating when I'm hungry, but to me, like, because my time is limited, I don't look at dinner as like this really enjoyable thing that I get to do after work. It's like a step in between me and getting to relax. Because relaxing is like the thing that I don't have enough of. And for me, like, I'm an extrovert to a degree and then I just shut off. Like, I after about six or seven hours with a group of people, I start to get like mentally exhausted. And then I hit a wall at like eight to nine hours where there's some people who will just be wanting to like make jokes and talk. And I just, I can't, you know, you know that like feeling when you're Maybe this is just me, because I, like, am kind of a people pleaser. But that feeling where someone's talking to you, and, like, you sort of want to be polite and appease, appease the other person so that they, like, they're getting some sort of enjoyment from you. And a lot of times, that simply comes down to like your facial expressions and how you uh, how you react to the things they're saying if they're like telling you a joke if they're trying to be funny and I have a really hard time like even if I don't want to talk or don't think that what they're saying is funny or I'm so mentally and physically exhausted that I just don't want to to talk to anybody, I still feel obligated to, like, you know, reciprocate my, my end of the conversation, but it just gets to the point where I'm, I'm expending energy now that I don't have anymore into this conversation, or whatever it is. 
and that's at like eight or nine hours I just hit this wall and I'm just like I can't I can't entertain what you're saying anymore I just can't and then after all of that I have to muster up the energy to go crush an hour long workout And, you know, I suppose you could say, well, why didn't you just do a half an hour? And there's probably a lot of truth to that, but I just, the way that I am is like, it takes a lot of energy just to get myself to the gym and out of my work clothes and into work workout clothes and then like onto that treadmill like it takes a lot of energy just for me to do that so if i'm there i'm not just gonna run for 20 minutes and then go home like i already walk all over the place at work i carry like heavy stuff all day upstairs up and downstairs so if I'm going to go to the gym, like I have a blocked off routine that I have put together that I have to get through and I will rush through it as fast as possible to just get out of there. And sometimes I can do it in 45, 50 minutes, but still it's just like at the end of, at the end of my day I've already done so much that I'm just like I don't know and the past two days have been particularly not good not even necessarily symptom wise but just like emotionally like motivationally I don't know what it I think maybe because it's been so dark for like a long part of the day just like very overcast and dreary <clears throat> and I think it just puts me in like a and I try to like you know talk positively and say I'm gonna have a good day and it doesn't matter I think like like physically just the sun not being there like subconsciously does something to me and makes me tired, makes me more, more, uh, notice more of my symptoms, I guess, just because I'm, like, in a, you know, kind of depressed mood, I guess, um, but I guess, like, my point is, is that, like, I miss, you know, enjoying going to the gym because of my work schedule and because of my symptoms it's like another chore that I have to do that's an hour long after being away from my house for 12 hours and at work for 10 of those hours you know it's just a lot it's just a lot that I expect myself to do I suppose you could say well just don't don't go to the gym like you do enough at work but like I don't I mean I do but I don't know I guess because I'm getting older like my body is just holding on to weight I don't know if my metabolism is just slowing down but I just like cannot lose weight. I can't stay consistent because like my life is just constantly up and down with my symptoms and how I'm feeling emotionally because of my symptoms. Um, and I'm sure that taking five prescription medications probably isn't helping my my, you know, energy levels, and it's probably has something to do with 
how tired I am. I also think that, like, my physical symptoms of, like, having headaches, you know, just, like, I think of it, like, if you know anything about computers, you have so many programs that can be running at the same time. And there's a lot of programs that run in the background that you don't see necessarily, but like processing capabilities and stuff that your computer is just performing just to run. Um, and I feel like that's like a good analogy of like, once you start to run too many programs, it like bogs down your computer's memory and your, I don't know, I'm not a techie guy. I know there's like GPU and RAM, you know, basically your, your memory and like how, how many applications your computer can run at once without getting bogged down. And I feel like having vestibular migraines is like having that that one giant application running in the background that's just destroying your computer and making everything else run really slow and making it really difficult for your computer to f perform tasks that's how i like that's how i see how my brain is working right now it's like there's this because the migraines can be invisible right like you don't have to feel the pain of the migraine for it to be causing these other symptoms of lightheadedness, dizziness, phantom sensations, um, all the other symptoms that you can get from. Uh, and so I just imagine that like, I have this like messed up brain that's like constantly firing this broken application in the background and then it just makes everything I do infinitely more difficult than it has to be thinking trying to remember things trying to learn new things um energy motivation and yeah just all of that it's just like So like I, I'm home now and I have to go inside and this is like not hard stuff to do. I have to go inside. I have to fill this up with blueberries for the morning. I have to put my ice pack away, put my, my, uh, container, rinse it out, um, gather up all the things I need for tomorrow's lunch, put them in the same place so I can grab and go tomorrow morning um, get my shake, my pear re rehydrating shake, um, get my dinner out and let that start to thaw, and it's easy, it's like every day, normal, every single person on earth does this, something like this, you know, what I'm getting at, it's like, it's not a big deal, but it takes... Like, it's something I dread just because it's one more step in between me and laying in bed. And, um, I just, I cannot stand feeling like that anymore. Like, I realize that I'm not 21 anymore or 25. But at the same time, like, they say, like, males peak, like between 28 and 32 because your testosterone is the highest and <clears throat> you know if you look at like bodybuilders and just people who casually work out if you've been working out for a long time guys like are their strongest at my age but I'm like can barely get through the day and my knees hurt my back hurts and all the other vestibular symptoms. It's just like, I 
body and my brain and my mind is just like falling apart. And it's, aside from the actual symptoms themselves, like just the, just the knowledge that this is happening to me and there's like seemingly nothing I can do about it other than get stronger mentally. It's like, oh great, that's perfect. So I have to try 10 times harder than a normal person to do the same thing. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. Um, which is frustrating, especially like at work, where as I've said many times before, but I really hate that, like, people just, I mean, I don't blame them, but people just, like, so quickly forget that, like, they just act like this is, um, you know, like I have a cold, and I said I wasn't feeling good yesterday, and I get to work today, and they're like, so you feeling better? No. No, I'm not. As a matter of fact, I'm not. As a matter of fact, hardly anything has changed in the past two years. So, yeah, I'm just getting tired. I'm just tired. Tired physically and I'm tired mentally from, like I just, I wanna be myself again and I wanna be able to accomplish something that I can be happy about, like losing 30 pounds, which I really, really desperately need to do. I mean, I really need to lose 40 or 50 pounds, but I've like dialed back my, my goal because I can't even lose 10 pounds right now because I can't, I can't stay consistent with anything. It's just, I can't get any like semblance of a normal life going. And it's, it's not even that like today's symptoms were necessarily like super intense or like like it you know didn't make me like shudder because it was so so uh like the symptoms weren't monumental but taken collectively over the course of 12 hours since I first woke up this morning it's like they accumulate that accumulation of little things over the past 12 hours just builds up over the course of the day and it just like drains you. I think that's something that like a lot of people don't understand. So if you're just like a normal dude or girl, and you have a difficult job and you go to work for 10 hours, imagine making it 10 times more difficult. That's how my life is every day. And I feel like people just don't, don't get that. And of course, how could they get that? I, I, I understand that. Like intellectually, I understand that, but emotionally it pisses me off. Because I do have to deal with it every day and it's just like, wears you down, it just wears you down. So I'm home and I'm doing that little thing that I just mentioned that I had to do. 
which like I said is not hard, but it's just more steps that I have to do in between me and my bed. And I don't even mean sleeping, I just mean getting to feel relaxed. But I don't want to, I don't want to feel relaxed. I don't want my relaxation to be me going to bed. That's not relaxation, that's sleep. I want to unwind my brain and my body before I go to bed. And that's just like something I don't have the luxury of the time to have. I've been doing, I've been working these hours for like so long, four years, something, really long time. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I didn't have like an awful day, I just... I just cannot find the motive. I'm just like really unmotivated to do what I think that I should be doing, which is going to the gym after work and losing this weight. And I don't know. Like right now, I can't even think. I'm All I have to do is like put a couple things by my lunch box and I can't even think well I'm gonna go I just uh, this video is more for me to just speak my mind I guess and I don't know I'm sure some of you can relate out there. Anyways, I'm gonna get a shower and eat dinner and maybe play PlayStation for 10 minutes or something. I don't know. So, alright. If you're not thriving, keep trying. This is Andy with Andy's Dizzy Vlogs. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.